everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a travel vlog. So my friend Julie and I are actually heading to Niagara on the lake for a little like girls trip wine tour. We're gonna go out to restaurants and all that stuff. So it'll be super exciting and fun. Kind of like a little mini grad trip since we never actually was able to do anything for our grad trip because of COVID. So yeah, we are doing that today. It's gonna be super fun. We're staying in a little like Airbnb type thing, right like in Niagara on the lake. So it'll be super exciting to actually do that. It's 11 o'clock now and I'm actually going to be leaving to go and pick her up. Basically, we're driving down to Niagara on the Lake today and we have our wine tour beginning at two o'clock and I think it's two till eight. It's like quite a long wine tour, but it also includes dinner and everything, which is super awesome. And then I don't know what we'll do after if we'll go out to another restaurant or something, who knows? And then the next day we'll go out and explore more of Niagara on the Lake. So hope you guys enjoy this little travel type video. I'm actually gonna head out the door right now to go pick her up. So I will see you guys in a little bit. arrived in Niagara on the Lake and I'm here with Julie Hello. and we are about an hour and a bit too early for our not our Uber I was gonna say our Uber our Airbnb so we're gonna go and like go to a restaurant or get something to eat yep. because also we're gonna be like drinking all afternoon now so we need to actually have some food in our stomach but I'll give you guys a little tour of the Airbnb once we get back I think we probably have access to it in about an hour and then in half an hour we well in an hour and a half then we have to go and be ready for the like shuttle to come pick us up for the wine tour so that's exciting Thing, but yeah, it's such like a cute little town. The like leaves are beginning to change. Oh, and we're in like a nice little like residential area. And then I think their main street is like Queen Street is up there. So we're gonna go explore. So we decided to come to one of the restaurants just on Queen Street, which is their main street. We literally just need like something quick to eat. So I think I, I honestly may even just get like french fries or whatever, but it's so hot. I just checked the temperature. It's supposed to feel like 29 degrees and Julie's in her like thick cardigan. <laughs> I took mine off because we're dying of heat. We definitely did not dress for the weather. I was gonna wear a dress, but then I thought it was gonna be cold. So I decided not to, but it's hot. So we'll see what ends up happening. We just finished with lunch and now we're gonna go into one of these stores just to see if they have anything a little bit more summery because <laughs> it's hot. And we did not dress for the weather. We have about 20 minutes until our Airbnb is open, so we might as well kill some time. We just arrived at the Airbnb and it's just right behind us here. It's so pretty and cute. I feel like it's a very Niagara on the Lake esque house. Like, it's so pretty and cute. Here, I'll show you the vibe with like nice little blue door, the trees and everything. The garden is absolutely beautiful. And I'll leave all the information to the Airbnb and stuff down below if you guys want to book the same one as us. But yeah, we have about half an hour before our, is it like the bus that's coming to pick yep, us up? The yeah. Shuttle, yep. So we're going to grab all of our stuff and go check in and just kind of set everything up. So we just checked in and everything and I thought I would show you guys a little room tour of our little Airbnb. So I'll actually start from outside in the hallway because that's like kind of like the common main area This is the door like for the guest entrance and then you walk in here a little carpet There's like a little bar station here, which they actually serve you breakfast and everything in the morning Which is super nice little mini fridge and then our like glasses where we can get like wine glasses and stuff for later And then this is our room here with our own door. So I'm just going to go ahead that and close that and then right when you walk in, this is what you see. So the main bed, a little like seating area by the window. And then actually outside, they also have access to use like the little porch and everything, which is nice. They gave us like a little sweet little paper with all the information, cookies and everything, which are really good, Julie. What do you <laughs> Some of the cookies. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the bed and everything, super nice. And then we also have the little like, what is this, a dresser with TV. And I think they said that it has Netflix and everything too. The mirror, so we can like look at our outfits before going out. And then we have the bathroom here, which is super nice, like super high quality. They also have a rainfall shower, which is, I like that. But yeah, super nice and everything. So we found it on Airbnb, obviously, as I said, and I'll link everything again down below. But yeah, obviously like we're paying for it all, but I just wanted to share it with you guys if you guys are curious. But yeah, we're going to kind of just powder up, get ready for the tour, I think, what time is it? 
2 12 so i think we have free ready in 15 minutes yep. yeah so they're gonna come pick us up and then head to the tour so i'll see you guys in a little bit so we're now waiting for our tour guide is it tour guide i don't yeah. know someone shuttle, to, pick, shuttle to pick us up but the house is right behind us it's so cute and quaint very much bed and breakfasty vibes and yeah i don't know it's like super cute area like even the house across the street i don't know if that's a bed and breakfast but it looks very like historical looking i feel like it's a very historical town so yeah we're just waiting for the shuttle to come pick us up That's really good. I do like that. Also, the vineyards right beside us is so pretty. We just finished the first tour. It's at the Jackson Triggs Winery, which is super awesome. And so they have sell some things in the LCBO, but not all the wines that we had today were in the LCBO. We liked the first one. I think it was a yep. brute wine. Brute, brute yep. wine. So we wanted to buy it, but I think we're going to wait and go to each of the wineries and kind of see which ones we like the most and then come back tomorrow before we leave and get them. Because we want to buy one and then realize we like another one at like another winery and we now we have too many bottles of wine. <laughs> so we're walking up though. I think he said we can see like the production of the actual wine. This is beautiful too. It is so pretty. Like look at this view. I mean, I guess there is. <laughs> What's going on down there? Some construction, I don't know. But we're going up to see. I was wrong, this is not construction. This is like the grapes where they harvest the grapes, they put them into these cartons and then they bring them into like the actual barrels and everything in there. So cool. Pictures are done. So we finished at the first winery and now on to the second. winery it's called the Lakeview Lakeview Estate I think yep. and you can see it's all behind us and then we're just sitting here under the tent for our wine tour so all of a sudden it got super sunny as you can tell Julie's wearing her sunglasses and everything you have the right idea but we just had our first wine of this tasting what was it called I forget what it was called so, it was a white so. I don't know it was I think dry it was dry that's what he told us but I think we're having a red for our next one and then an ice wine and then a rosé so we have a bunch of different options so we'll see which one we like we're big both samplings here yes yeah Very oh my gosh the first one we went to was like these tiny little like Sips. Barely sips. Like we had like two or three sips, and now we're like it's like a good half a glass. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be drunk by the end of this, but that's fine. That's what we're paying for. So at our first winery that we went to, they told us how to actually properly do the wine tasting. So first we have to like swivel it. Actually, first we have to look at it. Yeah, look at the light. Yeah, look at it. like a forty-five degree angle, and then we have to like swivel it. To like get the aromatics, smell it, and then we have to drink it. So, cheers! Cheers! Mm. This is good. This is sparkling wine, and it actually is the only wine that they carry in the LCBO. It's like in a can. Yeah, it's really good. Also, this is our third winery. We're a little drunk. <laughs> Not coherent enough to talk for the rest of this vlog, that is why. But this is a good vibe. We cheers, second cheers again. <laughs> Do you just tag me? Yeah, I'll just tag you. It's fine. You'll find it. Okay, I'll find it. My people yeah. will talk to Your people, yeah, they'll talk together. Cool. We're having drinks with a hot man. Cheers. 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 There you go. Yeah. Yo, shut up. Like, like I'm cheersing house. my camera. Tasting room, I think, is the restaurant. It's through like another winery, but they're called Olive. We have only our waters right now, so we're gonna choose with our waters. 
Cheers. Because we have, I think we have like a, a wine that comes with the tour, and then we also have a appetizer, an entree, and a chef choice dessert, and then tea and coffee are included. So great option for a winery. We're also very cheap, and it's so nice in here. It is very. Cheap. We can't sit outside because I think it's like a it's like a wedding rehearsal dinner that's going on, but we're sitting inside, which is so nice. But yeah, I think after this we're gonna go to back to the Airbnb, like freshen up a little bit, and then have some chips. I bought some chips, and then potentially go to like Clifton Hill and like Niagara Falls. Yeah. Like, so we're in Niagara on the lake. Niagara Falls is where the actual falls are, so it's like I think a 20 minute drive to each thing. But yeah, we'll see what ends up happening. But right now we just want food because we are very hungry. Cheers, that. cheers. So we're using our expertise from the wine tour to smell our large glasses of wine. This is the largest we had. This is a Cabernet. So first we got to like look at it. Smell. We got to look at it, smell. Look in the light, yeah, smell. Then we have to like shake it, swirl, swirl it, swirl, yeah. it. swirl. And then it will smell different mm. apparently. Okay, and now we, we got, got our first sip. So cheers. Cheers. But the second sip is what you need to base it on. Yeah, so because our palate sip. is now cleansed. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> That's good. Yep. I'm happy with that. Very good. Airbnb now and I think we're actually going to go out to Clifton Hill which is like Niagara Falls area of like the Niagara region there's like Niagara Falls and Niagara on the lake they're two like separate regions but I think there's more like bars and clubs yeah. and stuff there than like here like I feel like it's more like chill so we're gonna go there we'll figure it out and yeah we changed into different outfits so Julie's wearing her like nice black bodysuit now and I'm wearing like a red crop top here I'll show you in like the mirror here but yeah, super cute. Just something a little bit different to like change up the vibe. But we have had lots of wine today. We also had like a bit more wine. We had like the Lola. Where is it? It's over there. Right Lola Rose, which was really nice. And we had like chips, as you can see on the bed here. So we've had some like little food and everything to carry us over. But you know what? We just want to make the night the most of like being here and everything. So we're gonna go down there and Uber there. I think it's only like a 20 minute like drive from where we are we were playing like spotify on the tv having some girl chats but yeah now we're going to head down there so we will see you guys down there so we're down at niagara falls and you can't really see it right now i have the hiccups but we went into one bar and it was completely dead it's also like 9 30 not even right, 9 yeah, 15. so we're gonna walk down to the falls kind of be down there for a bit and then come back and we'll see if it gets a little bit busier um because it was like literally how many people were there like, like four four and they were like all one party so we didn't want to do that so now we're gonna walk down and then see what's going on there so we made our way to clifton hill and we're actually right in front of the ferris wheel i think we're gonna decide just to do it you know what we might as well try it <laughs> and then we may go to the casino or something we'll see but we're here we might as well do like the touristy yeah. attractions vaccine passport and everything to get in but we finally made it it was a lot longer of a walk than we thought it was gonna be but we got there and now we're gonna win some money hopefully fingers Yay. crossed Today is Friday and today is the day that we are leaving Niagara on the lake. We have packed up the Airbnb and everything. We have like our stuff over here, it was there. We're ready to go. I think I think it's 10 something now. We've been up for a while. Our, as you saw previously, our host made us breakfast and everything, which was super nice. We sat here and enjoyed it. And now we're going to go explore. It's like kind of cloudy, kind of sunny. I don't know, the sun kind of pokes in and out. So we're just going to head down to the lake. We 
made it down to the waterfront. At first we walked the complete opposite direction of where we were actually supposed to go, but now we're here and I think there's like a little trail we might walk on just around this way. And then we probably won't be here too long. I just wanted to actually make it to the lake at Niagara on the lake. <laughs> like if we didn't actually make it to the lake, then we can't say that we actually came to Niagara on the lake. But yeah, super pretty behind us. walking around their Queen Street and Julie got a nice little coffee or got a latte, right? Yeah, a nice yeah. latte for a little local coffee vendor. And now I think, yeah, this way. We're gonna head back to the car and get back, heading back. It looks very cloudy. It could potentially rain, mm -hmm. so we don't wanna like be stuck in the rain. Although I actually kind of start to feel a drop right now. Yeah. So I think we're leaving at the perfect time, <laughs> but I know it ended up being a nice day. We were able to walk around and still and everything. So we lucked out with the weather. We're back at the Jackson Triggs Winery. We actually came back to pick up some bottles of wine that we liked from the wine tour. It is starting to rain though. So we're glad that we didn't do our wine tour today and that we did it yesterday. Oh, look, they even have like the doors closed inside because of the, rain. the thing because of the rain. So I'm glad we came on the day that we did. But now we're gonna buy some wine. <laughs> Secured the goods. We both got the Brut wine, which is a very interesting name for the wine. Brut. Brut. It's a sparkling wine, but we got it, we secured it, and now heading back. Mm -hmm. 